Coronation Street Sue Cleaver is the latest star set to appear on the upcoming season of Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. The actress, 59, was spotted attempting to keep a low profile as she jetted into Brisbane Airport in Queensland in the early hours of Wednesday morning. It comes after Olivia Atwood and Chris Moyles were spotted jetting to Australia ahead of filming the hit show. Sue kept things casual after her long-haul flight, wearing a black satin shirt with matching baggy trousers. Appearing to be jungle-ready, she wore a leopard print t-shirt and matching cap. She appeared relaxed as she walked through the terminal and on to her next destination, being greeted by press as she touched down. Olivia Atwood and Chris Moyles were the first stars confirmed for this year's Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here after they were pictured landing at Brisbane Airport. The former Love Island star, 31, and the radio presenter, 48, who had been rumored as members of the lineup, kept things casual as they made their arrivals on Tuesday. According to The Sun, Chris said, I have absolutely no idea what my family and friends would think of me doing a show like I'm a celebrity. I have never asked them. But I think they would be much more nervous about me doing Antiques Roadshow. It should be nice, fingers crossed anyway. When asked about having a fear of jungle critters and snakes, he replied, there's lots of everything in this country, like sport and beer and I am not scared of sport or beer. So I think I will be alright. Other stars reported to have signed up for the adventure include 1980s pop icon Boy George and comedian Sean Walsh. A source previously told The Sun, Chris is a huge signing for him a celebrity and they have been trying to sign him for years. Previously has turned them down for a number of reasons but this year feels like the right time. Chris has signed up and is preparing himself mentally and physically to go down under. This a huge moment for him and he cannot wait to get stuck in. Fans of the show are in for a real treat and Chris has no doubt there will be some people who will be ringing to vote for him to do some of the grueling trials. A representative for Chris was contacted by May Longline for comment at the time. Hosts Ant McPartlin and Declan Donnelly said they wanted to see Chris as a campmate back in 2012. Jordy Deck explained, he would be really funny, he'd probably win. And has lost so much weight, even the lack of food wouldn't bother him. And added, the thing is eventually they all say yes. We just wear them down. Last year, Chris admitted he would struggle on the show because of his crippling fear of heights. He said he had no idea he was so scared until he took his girlfriend Tiffany Austin's niece to go ape. Speaking on Radio X with Vernon K., Chris said, I just wouldn't be good on Emma Celeb because we had Tiff's niece last week and we took her to go ape, you know the treetop adventure place? I popped myself and I realized I'm more scared of heights than I actually genuinely thought I was, and I knew I was scared of heights. He added, this guy was behind me with his daughter, he was talking me across all the bridges, you'll be fine, you've got this, don't worry about it. Meanwhile his daughter's like hanging off stuff with one arm. Earlier this week it was reported that former Strictly Come Dancing contestant Sean Walsh has signed up for him as a celebrity. Get me out of here. The comedian, 36, is thought to be heading down under for the new series, the first back in Australia since the coronavirus pandemic. According to The Sun, ITV bosses are hoping Sean will discuss his infamous 2018 snog with his strictly pro-partner Katya Jones, who was married to fellow dancer Neil Jones at the time. 
the brief fling resulted in the end of Katya's marriage to Neil the following year and Sean splitting with his ex-girlfriend Rebecca Humphreys. Also this week it was reported that Olivia Atwood is reportedly set to become the first ever Love Island star to appear in Emma Celebrity later this year. According to reports, Sean and Olivia will be joining the likes of Babatunde Ailsh and Boy George in the jungle. Anton Deck are set to welcome 12 new famous faces into the Australian camp in November. In a statement, ITV said, Autumn also brings them a celebrity which makes a welcome return to ITV from the Australian jungle. The 2021 series saw Danny Miller crowned as King of the Castle, while Giovanna Fletcher was the first person to win the Welsh version of the show the year before.